Good afternoon, Code Simplify. Esad is here with another simple video for beginners. In today's video, we are going to read a file's content. Here we are, and we are going to learn how to read a file. And the objectives or the aim of this video, it will be, you are going to look for a specific word, term, or sentence. And we are going to learn how to read a file's content. And you may ask, why do we need to learn this skill? It will be good for processing data. And the other thing we will learn, or I mean the reason is optimizing the current program or system. Basically, you are going to know how the system is work and how to perform by accessing the information or basically observing the user's interaction with your program. So we are going to open a file, list the content in an array, which the array will be a new uh, concept for today's, but I will explain it along the way when we are developing our codes then we need to read the content or the information inside that array, print it out, and we will get an outcome. Here I have a file opened. So I took the files from our previous videos and I copy pasted the codes a few more times to just saving ourselves time and to be able to understand just the whole idea how the things are going to work. And here's the file here. And here is the program. Whenever you run the program, so let me show you how what the outcome it will be. First, it will print out everything inside the file. So basically, whatever is inside this file, as you see here, it will print it out. And at the end, it will count how many times password less than five has been repeated and how many times has been repeated, which the password was greater than 10. And if you recall from our previous video, the 10 and five was our period which we didn't want the user to enter any password inside it so go to your project and by the way i'm just using the last location of our previous feed so come inside your project here we need to create a new file uh, create a new python file and we call it uh, counting password our password is ready we need to create a variable, which that variable is going to hold the name of the file that we have. So we are going to name it password holder or whatever it makes sense to you. Double quotation. And I am going to copy the name here, copy the file that holds the password inside it and put it inside the double quotation mark. So basically we created a variable which it will access to the fold that we had. So we call it def, we call it password, C checker. You're coming down and we need to close it. Password checker. So the first step, we have to give an initial value to the variable that is going to count how many times we are going to have a password which was less than five. So basically that will call it as a short password. Just write down short, uh, actually give some line, write down a short password equals to zero. And I will give you one example. If you start from 10 and you repeated the password which was shorter than five, five times, you'll get an outcome of 15 instead of five. So that's why we need to start from zero. That is our starting point. So we keep repeating the same thing. This sum is going to be for our long password. Here is very important part of this video is going to be, and please bear with me because if you don't get this section, and if you're facing an error, it will be frustrating. You can resolve your problem. So first thing it would be, we are going to create a variable that is going to handle the file and read the file. That's why I'm going to call it file holds password. Again, the variable names are completely optional, but it will be good practice to write down your variables name related to what they are going to do or what they are going to hold. In our case, it's going to just hold on the password. We, re, uh, we are opening our file. We're just going to password holder, comma, and here, lower R, which that is going to read the file. 
then we need to create an empty list or array, which that array is going to keep everything inside the array. Then we go in file in list equals to this sign. Here, write down four. Again, creating another variable. We call it each line in file holds password. Then the next step will be array, uh, sorry, file in a list dot append and each line. For each line, each line was a variable. And the reason I call it each line is because I call one of here, they are writing in each line. That's why I call it. In a file hold password, which has the password holder and the password holder is this file. For each line inside this file, we are going to give, uh, get the list and we are going to append each line to it. So basically we are creating a loop through this file where every line is going to read, it will add one list to this file. Here we have to print out each line and we're done with our file. We access it, we got the information, now we need to close it. Now we file holds password dot close. We open the file here, we did our processing and here we close it. Now once you came down, here is where you are going to count the information inside of each file. So we're repeating the full loop one more time. For lines in file in a list. And here we are just creating a condition to just tell it each line if contains this information, do this. So here we have if in line, uh, sorry, if I forgot it to here, double quotation. And we will have uh, less than five to start with in lines. So short password plus equals one. So else if the password was greater than 10 in lines, here we got long password plus equals one. Give a gap here. Uh, we set up the condition. Now we need to print out the outcome. So double quotation. So that's it. Now we are about to run the program, but before we're running it, I want to just quickly go through it, how everything's work. So we create a variable to hold the password. We created a method or a function to keep everything as a container inside it. And that means we can use this method or function somewhere else. Then we add some <clears throat> initial values to short passwords and long password as zero. That means we are going to start from zero how many times something has been repeated. We created another variable to open the files and keep that information inside it. And the next step we came here, we created an empty list, which that empty list is going to hold information or each line inside it one at a time. Now here we created an, uh, a for loop condition. So we said for each line inside this list, and here we said file in a list, go through it, and add one each line to it until you finish the content. And once you are, while you are doing it, print each line to see what is it. Here we finished our work with the password, so we close the password. In the second condition, we came to check a specific condition. For lines inside the list, which we here we have to access the list. And uh, in the first condition, we said if the pass, if you see this phrase, which is less than five, in each line, that means the short password has been attempted and add one to it. If that is not a case, the password has been greater than 10. And if that phrase include inside that line, so add one attempt to the long password. And in our last step, password has been attempted or how many times the long password has been attempted. 
and here we printed our lines inside a file and here we are just having a nice outcome of our program so 10 times the short password has been attempted and long password has been attempted 13 times so as you see everything works fine with no issue so we are coming to the end of this video so as per usual if you do have any question or any section of this video didn't make sense to you or you still have a question please write it down in the comment section below don't hesitate i'll respond to it as quick as i can and if you liked the video already and you are new to this channel please make sure you check out all my other videos and you subscribe to the channel so you're not missing out any upcoming weekly videos thanks for your time and watching and i'll see you all next week